Okay, mathematicians, welcome back. So we're going to do another number talk, but this time we're going to have a succession of number sentences that are going to help us figure out a new total each time. But if we use our knowledge of the previous number sentences, it's going to make each successive one a lot easier to solve. So it's kind of like the number sense, or sorry, the number routine we did the other day where it was called a number string. But what's special about the number sentences I'm going to show you today is that each one is going to utilize our knowledge of making tens. Ready? So the first one, and I'm going to be very disappointed if you don't know it right away, is nine and one more. Did you get it? All together? What is nine plus one? That's right. Ten. Okay, are you ready to use your knowledge of this number sentence to make the next one? Ready? Okay, think. Okay, all together. Three, two, one. What is it? What does that lead to? That's right, 13. So most of you probably use your knowledge of tens where you took the nine and the one, remember that makes a 10, and then just added three more. Great job, mathematicians. I did the next one. Again, we're just using our knowledge of the previous number sentence to make each one that follows next easier to solve. Ready? Nine plus five plus one leads to, what is it? That's right, fifth, what is it? Teen, awesome job mathematicians. Now for this one, you probably did the same thing that you did in the previous number sentence where you took the nine and the one, made your friendly number 10, added five more and got to 15. But some of you might have also done something like this where you took the five and the one, made a six, used your number facts that you might have been practicing with the nine, where you know that trick where if you see the number following the nine, like nine plus six, then you, don't, then you know that when you add, it has a pattern where it's like one less. Did you see that? Some of you have been practicing that in your rooms too. And that's okay. You can be as creative as you want when you're solving these number sentences. Okay, ready? Last one. I'm actually gonna make that a little bit trickier, ready? Ooh, did I make it too tricky? I don't think so. This, however, might take you a few seconds to really think about. A few more. Three more seconds. Two, one. Okay, come together. So, if you solve the initial number sentence I showed you, you probably said, Miss Juarez, that was easy. It's even easier than nine plus five plus one. That is 12. But think about this, mathematicians. I only changed this number by adding 10 to the one. So if you were really thinking about that in terms of place value, then you might have figured out, wait, the only difference between 9 plus 2 plus 1 and 9 plus 2 plus 11, the only real difference is that 10. So you might have said, wait, if I know that 9 plus 2 plus 1 equals 12, then 12 plus 10 more from right there I add 10 to 12, then that will lead to 22. Did you solve it that way? 
Did you solve it a different way? Great, whichever way you got to the answer is amazing. So great job. Okay, mathematicians, that's all I have for you today. I can't wait to work with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.